Sulfur doesn't dissolve in water, so cleaning sulfur from your previous experiments may be a pain in the ass. But there is a solution. And the solution is alkaline metal hydroxides. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use sulfur, water, potassium hydroxide, and everything will be reacted in a test tube, and the test tube will be heated with a candle. First I'll dissolve the potassium hydroxide in some water, and wait till the water clears. Then I light the candle, and make sure the potassium hydroxide solution is boiling hot. Then in this sped up footage, I'm adding sulfur in three portions, when no more sulfur dissolves, I add some potassium hydroxide in the solution to make sure everything dissolves and the potassium hydroxide is in abundance. The color of the solution slowly changes from yellow to reddish to almost red-black when the sulfur dissolves in it. Just after I stopped filming, the inevitable overheating happened and some of the liquid spew all over the work area. Fortunately, it was easy to clean. Using a candle as a heat source is hard because you will have to be adjusting the position of the candle all the time to not overheat the reaction, but still keep it hot enough for it to happen in reasonable time. Eventually, the reaction was complete. I took few drops of the liquid, put them in a test tube, and after that I added some arbitrary amount of acid. The acid I used was regular household vinegar. A reaction occurred, and most of the sulfur probably precipitated out, but some of it converted into most likely hydrogen sulfide because of the smell of rotten egg that filled the room. Later I dried the liquid in a small beaker, so it became a form of paste. Then I took some of the paste and put it in the vinegar. I did that two times before I no longer could stand the smell. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate the video. If you liked it, uh, leave me a comment and I might do something like this in the future. See ya.